everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Today we've woken up, well it's not that early anymore but we're trying to go out a bit earlier because it's really hot here so you want to do your activities before it gets like crazy hot. Our first plan of the day today is to go and visit the fortress here. This fortress was built in 1536 during the colonial era. The Spaniards decided to build it so that it could be used for defending the city against pirates and foreign countries. Castillo de San Felipe de Barajas has since seen many battles, but today it has been transformed into a popular tourist site. We've now come to Juan Valdez which is like the local Colombian Starbucks. It's a big coffee chain here. And we've been in Colombia now for over five weeks and we haven't been to a single Juan Valdez. So of course we had to fix that and visit one before heading to the next country. But I ordered myself a little chocolate donut and I ordered myself this vanilla almond chai tea, but a cold one. Let's try both of them. Mm. Oh, it's really like fresh and soft. Really nice. Oh, that's really good. Yum. I like this more than Starbucks already. After enjoying our refreshments and the air conditioning at Juan Valdez, it was time to head to the colorful historical center. The historical center is surrounded by 11 kilometers of imposing stone walls, which were, like the fortress, built to protect the city. Today these walls are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a nice spot where to walk around.
currently it seems like this whole block is without electricity luckily though we have a pool so even if our air conditioning doesn't work we have another way of cooling down which is nice but fingers crossed that it would start working soon again as I need to get some editing done and stuff we also were able to book a tour for tomorrow we're doing a day trip to this beach called Playa Tranquilo we're gonna be picked up at 6 a.m. so really early tomorrow and then we'll be spending the day there until like 3 p.m. so basically the whole day and come back for the evening now just chilling by the pool and soon I'll go and take a shower and yeah hopefully I could also get some editing done still today Good morning, we have just been picked up and we are on our way to the beach where we'll be spending the day. Let's hope it's a beautiful beach. We are about to get on a boat that will take us to Playa Tranquila. But the beach where we are right now is also super beautiful. The water is so turquoise, so see-through, it's crazy. arrived to Playa Tranquila and what is nice is that included in the tour price are these like big sun beds that we're allowed to use. We have like this big thing. There's several of them to choose from. You could have also chosen a more traditional sun bed. This place is really beautiful but I must say getting here felt a bit chaotic. I understand now why they picked us up at 7 a.m. because it took a few hours just to pick up everyone and we kept waiting for everyone and also the route we were driving didn't make any sense. We kept driving like back and forth and it just took an unnecessary really a lot of time it's very beautiful here but I must say I have never been on a beach where they sell so much like next to us is a lady getting her hair done in front of us is a lady getting a massage literally every two minutes someone tries to sell you something so it's maybe a bit like personally I would just like to be in peace listen to the ocean. exactly my point I would like to just for it to be a bit more peaceful but no it's uh yeah people have really come here to shop and purchase things and it could be more peaceful if you ask me. Someone's trying to sell me something even while I am swimming. That's the first time. We moved to another sun bed and we're hoping this spot is a little bit calmer. No, gracias. It's normal like when you go to a beach that there's people trying to sell you stuff. Like I'm used to that, but usually it's like maybe every 10 minutes. But here it is constant, constant, constant. Even when I went swimming, someone tried to sell me something. It's beautiful, but I'm not sure if I would recommend this beach purely for that reason. If that's something that really doesn't bother you, then I'm sure you'll like this place. But uh, yeah, for me, I like it when it's a bit more peaceful. Maybe that's just very Northern European of me. Sorry for being a bit negative, but I'm just being honest about this. Thank you. 
We're soon about to check out from our hostel. About our hostel, I would say it's a nice like place. Like we have a nice room, we have air conditioning, we have a swimming pool and there's an outside shower and nice greenery and like it's a really nice place. But I would say the only really big con with this place is the location. Like we're quite far from the old town. It's like a half an hour walk, which is doable. But the thing is that this area where we're staying is not maybe the nicest. It's uh, very dirty and feels maybe a bit sketchy walking around. So so we've been taking Ubers quite a bit, especially in the evening times, because we just don't feel comfortable walking here necessarily. The problem with Cartagena was that accommodation was really expensive here, and this was the only place we could find that had a reasonable price. Our thing that we really wanted was air conditioning and a swimming pool, because everyone we've met have told us that it's so hot in Cartagena that you really need that. Most hotels and hostels were really, really expensive, so that's why we opted out for this one. But yeah, then the bad thing with this one was that it's a bit further away but the facilities are really nice today it is actually our last day here in Cartagena and it is actually our last day in Colombia so tonight we are going on our next adventure which is that we're hopping on a sailing boat heading to Panama so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure to do that so you won't miss out on our adventures in Panama